it is not empty then let's go step over so let it will go inside because the customer name is not empty here it will open up the connection yes it is open the connection successfully now the pointer is gone into the command that is SQL command yes the command type is store procedure correct now the parameter parameter has been created for customer ID now parameter for customer name yes we have created successfully for name also same way we are done with the address part and finally execute non query let's see the values now customer address has Mumbai customer name has got quest one guru customer ID has got value 0 so it means uh, in the stored procedure we have written the condition that if the customer ID is equal to 0 then fire the insert query it means it will add the new record to the database so, so yes it will done so we are done with the addition part now let's go to the our database and see check whether the insert happened or not so go to a server explorer select the table customer show the table data let's say the new record has been added or not yes see my friends the third record has been added here that is quest font guru that is this one so yes now now let's see the update part here now because that is interesting so before I will show you show you the update part let's see uh, the select part because that is important that is select means let's fetch this customer uh, table to uh, inside our website so I'll show you how to fetch the records using the select query so for that first we need to write the select store procedure so the same way we need to go to our uh, the database and right click on the store procedure let's add the new store procedure let's say USB let's give the name as USB select customer let's select the uh, all record that is select customer ID customer name customer address from customer table here we go we have successfully created the select query from customer table now the next step what I need to do I need to go to my uh, ASPX file that is this I will go to my source here to display the record I am going to use a grid view here to select the grid view we need to go to our toolbox we need to just scroll down and find the grid view here let's find the grid view here we go this is our grid view let's drag and drop let's go to our design view let's see how the grid view looks like okay looks like this great let's save let's go to our beh behind code now okay let's add up a method here that is public void a simple method which has no return type so fetch records let's fetch the records from the store procedure so let's quickly open up the connection let's write the uh, SQL command obj cmd equal to new SQL command click on let's select the store procedure name from the 
show procedure file ok now to fill the records what I will do I will create a data set here to fill the records into this data set Let's create an adapter here. What the adapter does is it automatically fires the the SQL command, or the command which is there inside the store procedure and it automatically fetches all the records and attach it to the database or uh, I'm sorry data set so let's fill the uh, data set now fill data set and now let's bind it to our grid view so let's grid view one dot data source is equal to data set okay we are done with the select part uh, means we are done with the fetching the records let's check some errors let's build the website so build is succeeded so let's call this method in our page load okay let's say control f5 compile and debug this here we go friends see i successfully fetched the records by using the select query from the database and i successfully attach that records to my grid view this is how we need to fire our select query to fetch the records from the database now let's see the update part now so for that let me just close this